it's Silva. Welcome back to the channel and today I am so excited to share with you my final gear video. So in today's video I'll be going over all of the gear I'll be taking on my upcoming Appalachian Trail 2021 through hike. I'll be leaving in just a few short days so stay tuned. I'm going to go over is what I'll be wearing uh, for my trip and then I'll head over to the backpack and go over all the stuff that's on the outside of my pack and then we'll head inside the pack. So for my hiking clothes that I'll be starting out with and I may use the entire trail we shall see I have a Patagonia Barely There sports bra, a pair of ex officio underwear, pretty standard. I have my buff that I wear I have my Columbia hiking shirt. I love this because it's very lightweight. Um, I can have it long sleeves. When it's hot, I roll up the sleeves. And then because it's so nice and light, I can use it even in the summertime. I hiked with it all last summer. Helps with keeping the bugs away and sunburn. So I have that. And then I just have a pair of L.L. Bean hiking pants that I've had for a while. They're full length. So I'm gonna start with those because I am starting when it's still cold out. Um, and then part way through, I can have Matt send me my hiking capris that I have if I want something different. On my feet, I'll be wearing my Ultra Timps 2.5s along with um, my right socks and a pair of Dirty Girl Gators. And I have my hiking poles by Black Diamond. They have the ergonomic handles within cork and I really like these. I've used these for several years now, so I like those. I also will be wearing a fanny pack. This one is by Through Pack. It has a very nice comfy belt, it's stretchy neoprene, uh, so it's comfortable around my back. And in it, I carry it on my cords for my, my Garmin or, um, and my phone if I need to recharge anything. I also have this for taking pictures from far away. I'll have a mask in here for when I get into town. And I have my neck knife. So now sometimes my neck knife is around my neck and not in my pack, but sometimes I put it in here. So I did forget uh, to include my mid layer and this will be something I'll be wearing most of the time. And this is just a mountain hardware zip up. It's got a nice comfy hood. And I've slept in it before when it's been super cold. It's very comfortable. It's good stretchy equipment. I didn't get a fleece. If I decide that this isn't warm enough, then I'll switch to a fleece. All right, so let's start with the outside of my pack and what I carry on the outside. Uh, over here, I have my Garmin Explore, InReach Explorer. And then I also have some hand sanitizer on the outside. And then um, I have my Kula cloth. And usually I have a water bottle in my water bottle pouch. And then in the pockets on the side, I have my Gossamer Gear 1 8 inch foam pad, my tent poles, and my umbrella. And then on this side, I carry my Z seat. And I usually have another water bottle here. Sometimes I have water in it, sometimes it's empty. So that goes there. And then around this side on the outside, I have my camp shoes, my Crocs. Let's see. And then I have some mittens on the outside, my hat. Depending on the weather, this may these if it's really warm out, I'll, I'm gonna just stick these inside the pack. And let's see. So I have my toilet paper and my wipes on the outside along with my handy dandy trowel for ready access. I also carry my water bag, dirty water bag, and my filter. And then I have my charging brick. Now, I don't always have this in the outside pocket. Sometimes it's inside, sometimes I carry it in my fanny pack. It just depends if I think I'm gonna need it or not, so. On the outside, Matt made me um, these cords, this like stretchy paracord, and this way I can hook my hiking poles to it if I don't feel like 
carrying them or if I'm doing a lot of rock scrambling and I know I need both my hands and I don't want to worry about the poles, I can hook them to the outside of the pack. So that's really handy. In my hip belt pockets, I carry, uh, this is my left hip belt pocket, and I carry my headlamp. Sometimes I have some toilet paper in there to wipe my nose, but I am gonna get a handkerchief, so this will probably be replaced with a handkerchief. And then I have my umbrella, the parts to make my umbrella hands-free. So, and then on the right-hand hip belt pocket, this is where I have um, a small thing of mace if I need it, and this is where I keep my snacks for uh, the morning, usually at breakfast time, I'll pull out what I want for snacks before lunch and put them here. And then at lunchtime, we'll pull out a couple more snacks and put them here that I'll need before dinner. Now let's move to the inside. So in the top of my pack is where, um, it's not in there right now because I keep squishing it down and I'm sick of squishing all my food. So I have my food bag, which right now is packed with five, probably closer to six days of food. I have quite a bit of food in here, but this goes right on the top and so I can have easy access to it as I knock everything over. I put three pink stripes on it just to be able to differentiate between everybody else's because so many people have this food bag or one that looks like it. So that's what that is. Also, I may change the order of things. It might not be exactly packed the way it is right this second, uh, but this is just to show you right now. So I have a fleece hat and some additional gloves in case it's really cold. Then I have a warmer hat and some gloves that can go underneath my mittens. And again, these change places depending on the weather. Sometimes they're on me, sometimes they're in the pocket, sometimes it's too warm and they're just in my pack. So inside here is what I will be taking for clothes. And let's go over that. It's not a lot, honestly. <laughs> I'll start with my base layers which take up the most room so these are just by Under Armour and they are warm base layers I usually sleep in these in the cold weather and if it's super cold I can wear these under my hiking clothes these will get sent home as soon as it warms up enough I won't need these so that's my base layers I have two pairs I have an additional pair of socks to hike in a pair of sleep socks two pairs of ex officio underwear and then just an extra short sleeve t-shirt uh, to sleep in or use in town or whatever I want to do with this. And that's all that I'm carrying for extra clothes in there. Of course, I will have my puffy as well. I'll have either my blue olive bean puffy or my gray, it needs to be washed, Patagonia puffy. I'll have one of those in there as well. And then I have my first aid kit, personal hygiene kit, which I have. Uh, a more detailed video that I'll link here in the corner if you want to see exactly what's in here. But I'm not going to go over it right now because I do have that video, so check it out if you want. I have my cook system. And in here is just a piece, you can see the burn holes, but it's just a piece of handkerchief that I can use to pick up the pot when it's hot, to wipe out the pot, my MSR pocket rocket stove, a few, small fuel canister, which I store upside down in here so that I don't get any rust rings from that, which I won't be taking on the plane, don't worry. And then my cooking pot that has the cover. The other thing that I am taking for my cook, that goes with my cook system is a collapsible mug and a spork long-handled spork. All right, so I have my headphones, my Bluetooth headphones in here by Anchor. And then I have my just a, my quartered pair, just in case something were to happen, I have another pair so I can edit at night or listen to music. And then in here is also the charging cord if I need that. So those things are in here. Next, stuffed into the crevices in here is my rain gear, and I have the Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket. I have 
my REI rain pants. They're just the regular REI ones. They're not super, super lightweight. Um, so mostly these are just for the cooler months when it's kind of freezing cold rain and wind. That's what these are for. After it warms up, I probably will send these home. And then I have my rain mitts. And I don't remember, I don't remember where I got these. After that is my sleep system. I also did a very detailed uh, video of my cold gear, so I will link that here so you can see that. So I'm just gonna quickly go over what I have for cold gear. I have my Enlightened Equipment booties. These are synthetic. They work really well to keep my feet toasty warm especially since I'm starting so early. I have my Sea to Summit Thermolite Reactor sleeping bag liner to add some extra warmth to my sleeping bag. I have my Thermarest Neo Air X Lite sleeping pad. It's the yellow one that everybody has. And of course, like I said, under this, I'll be able to put my Gossamer Gear foam pad to help add some R value. I do have a pillow, and um, I really found I slept a lot better with this pillow. It's a um, Nemo equipment. I think it's the Philo pillow. It's just a little blow-up pillow. It's super lightweight, and it's nice and soft. It's fabric on the outside, even though it's a blow-up pillow, so it's nice and cozy. Of course, I have my tent, which is the big Agnes um, UL Fly Creek 2, and then just the footprint that goes with it. And then in the bottom is my sleeping bag. And I have it compressed into the Sea to Summit dry bag because it's a synthetic sleeping bag. I have um, the big Agnes Blue Lake synthetic 25 degree sleeping bag. And unless I put it in this compression bag, and it still takes up a lot of room because it's synthetic, but there's no way to get it in there and all my stuff unless I compress it. I also have just a liner inside of my sleeping bag in case I need the extra protection for rain. And another thing um, that I didn't show you was my wall charger that I'll be taking with me. This is by uh, Aki. It has two chargers in it two ports and it's a quick charge and then I have an extra tiny little cord of course I will have the phone I'm filming on right now and then my small um, tripod and man photo clip that I'll be showing this is my mini ultra pod tripod with the man photo clip for my phone that's what I'll be carrying in my fanny bag that is it that is what I'm taking that is everything so that's what I have for you guys today. That is all the gear I'll be taking with me. The total weight, um, total base weight of everything is exactly 18 pounds. And the total um, with my five to six days of food and one liter of water comes to 26 pounds. It's a little more than I wanted, but it's not unreasonable. It's pretty good uh, for a start. I think that it'll slim down some as I go once I can get rid of base layers and anything extra that I don't need. You know, I'm sure I'll get better at packing food and not need so much at each time. So there you have it. That's what I have. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can put them below, but I may already be on trail when this video comes out. So you'll have to be patient in case I don't see those comments for a bit. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, appreciate it if you did. As always, keep hiking and I hope to see you out there.